today I am doing the walk of shame to my local library. Middle of last year, I took out a book. And I've been renewing it through the library app. And I've renewed eight times. And now it says I can't renew it anymore. And I've only got halfway through the book. I'm really bad about reading. I used to be a really avid reader when I was a kid. Life just got in the way. Which is shocking. I actually think of reading as a waste of time, which is a terrible thing to think. The only time I would normally read is when I'm going to bed. So I'd read a chapter before turning in. But right now, with the way the weather is, and the daylight hours, and what have you, I'm pretty much zonked out by the time I go to bed. So I don't need that time. So I'm going to let them have this book back, and then I shall try again later in the year. Because I really wanted to finish this book. It's by James Rebanks. It's the second of his books, and I read his first one. Anyway, so... So there we are, book's gone. <laughs> dear oh dear. I was going to start using my local library as a warm space. Um, but the... Uh, the cold snap didn't really last long enough. We get another one, and they have talked about us having another one in February. I might use it, because now I have a new laptop which doesn't need plugging in. I could take it to the library before, because my laptop was so old and so knackered. Um, and there's nowhere to plug them in at the library, so I'd have to fully charge it, and I couldn't do that with the old one. But I don't have the new one, I could take it and spend a, a couple of hours. Getting a new laptop opens up so many possibilities, <laughs> like software that's not been out of date for three years, working batteries, <laughs> doesn't take 20 minutes to load up in the morning. It's a good investment, it really was. Anyway, home again. Right, this morning... Action shots. Bing. Hello. Action shots. <laughs> it's really me. A um, couple of errands to run this morning. But I had to wait in first thing because an electrician came to change a light switch in my hallway, which is faulty. And I now have a nice new light switch. One of the good things about renting is uh, stuff gets repaired, at least at my place. Uh, right, so off to Vinted, or sorry, off to the in-post lockers, because I have sold something on Vinted. So I'm just gonna pop that in, and then I'm nipping to Morrison's because there's a freebie on one of my apps, um, check out Smart, and um, I quite like it. <laughs> so I'll show you that as I go as well.
drop off there. I think they must be full. They don't really let me collect. So I'm going to go to Morrison's because I'm pretty sure they have a an in-post box as well. came out with a bit more than I was expecting there. You don't expect to get deals on a Friday morning. deals on Friday morning. But I did. You can see my freebie was pizza buns. <laughs> Which I would never pay for. £2.50 for that. Four and a pound, but blimey. But they're free. And I have to say, I do like the pepperoni taste. So that's like four days of snacks for free. And every little helps, as I keep saying, and it really does. So that's my first saving for February. So I'm going to go home now and tot up my amounts on my spreadsheet as you see now how I do that and uh, get on with my other tasks for the day feels proper spring like today I tell you it's lovely right keys I quite like doing these, moving around vlogs. It's a little bit more interesting, but it's a pain in the backside to do. You've got to walk around with a camera in your hand and you're risking someone snatching your phone from your hand for a start. Oh, dark corridor, give me a moment. Bing! Yeah, you, you risk that and you feel like an idiot walking around talking to your phone. And then it's just, you need an extra pair of hands. I could really do with it strapped to my chest like a GoPro, but I don't have that. So, I'm home. Right, I'm going to get on with my day. Bye bye. I love growing my own veg. Soon it will be time to start planting vegetables. I really messed up with my broad beans and my peas, but we'll try again when the weather changes. One of the other things I like to grow is potatoes. But I don't buy chitting potatoes. It's a waste of money for me. Um, all I have is some pots outside my front door. So I need to keep things quite compact and cheap and doable. 
So what I tend to do is when the season begins, and it's now beginning of February, so things are starting to improve, is when I buy potatoes from the supermarket, if I see one that's sprouting, maybe I've forgotten it at the bottom of the bag, or because I buy them all on yellow stickers, they're already past the best. Look. This is going to be my first potato plant of the year. It's got quite a few of these. Thankfully. And there's another one there. So what I'm going to do is just put this on the windowsill and leave it. And it will continue to sprout and those will begin to grow. And provided enough of them sprout, I might be able to chop this potato in half and have two plants. And then when they are big enough to plant out and when the, the weather has improved, you put them low down in a pot or if you were doing it in the ground you'd, you'd make a almost like a well and you just cover them with soil and then as they grow so as you start to see the shoots come up above the earth pile a little bit more earth on and keep doing that until or i do it until i run out of room in the pot and then what you've created then is um a root system that's layered and all the new potatoes will come off of that. This works really well for me because there's only me on my own. There's only so, only so many potatoes I can eat and I can have a continuous supply. So this is my first potato. And if you find you have potatoes like this and you have the opportunity to plant some outside, then do it. You've already paid for the potato you might as well turn that one yellow stick of potato into a whole lot of new potatoes. And when they're ready to harvest, basically the greenery will start to die. You'll see it start to turn yellow. And that's when you know you can harvest them. And sometimes I get lots of little potatoes. Sometimes I might get three or four big ones. Sometimes I might get a mixture. These potatoes are not designed to be planted, so they're not optimum. But as I say, for someone like me, who has very little space, and I'll plant four or five of these in one go. I'll let them grow, I'll harvest them. By then I'll probably have more sprouting potatoes in my kitchen and I can do it on a continuous crop rotation. So as the year goes on, when I'm doing my little gardening vlogs, I will show you how this, how this works. But this is cheap, simple. If you have pots outside and you buy potatoes, this is not going to cost you anything to do at all. And then if it doesn't quite work, maybe the weather's really bad, we get very waterlogged years. My pots all have drainage in them, but my God, it can rain here sometimes. And if you don't get the right weather, you may not get enough potatoes or they might start to rot. But you just have to keep an eye on things and get a feel for how it works. It's all fun, it's all a joyous learning curve, but look at that. I don't know if that's in focus, probably not. Those are new potato plants. So that's my little tip of the day for a Sunday afternoon. Uh, no, it isn't, it's Saturday afternoon. No idea what I'm doing. It just feels like a very lazy weekend. I've been out and cleaned this morning. Um had lunch, cracked open a beer, because why not, and it's tipping it down outside, but it's not cold, I've got a couple of windows open, done some washing, typical weekend for me, it's always very quiet, that's fine, we can cope with that, uh, so yeah, tip of the day, turn your sprouting potatoes into more potatoes, enjoy. I saw a recipe on my Instagram Reels the other day, so I thought I'd make it with you. I've never done this before. It's really quick and simple, and it's perfect for dinner because I don't make a big fuss at dinner. My main meal is at lunchtime. So I'm just gonna let this oil heat. I use this pan at lunchtime in case you're wondering. 
and now I'm going to put in two crumpets cut into small squares and we're going to let those toast a little bit a little bit crunchy and I've realised that you could so easily make this with um, chopped up potato as well so you could do almost like a sauté potato version of this but I thought I'd do this because I saw it on Instagram Now you need to add some grated cheese. I'm going to add mozzarella here because it's what I have to hand. So I think you should probably use regular cheese on this. And a little bit of greenery. I'll put a little bit of spring onion in there. And then I'm going to make two gaps, like so. I'm going to crack a couple of eggs in. And just let the eggs cook. Sorry about the light, it keeps flashing. I don't know what's the matter with it. I'm doing it forever. oil in there just to stop that sticking. And apparently you cut it into two. Can you tell I've never done this before? I've never been Insta ready. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, <laughs> that's the end of my hob light by the looks of it. Oh dear. Right. Dinner's ready. I think it's time to dish up. That'll do.
very nice. You're welcome. I'm back from my Sunday morning clean. I had an absolute ball in Morrison's today. I got so much stuff and the savings are just insane. So, first thing. Were £2.79 down to 70p. These are not yellow stickers, this is a promotion because they're trying to shift all the Christmas stuff that didn't sell. So I bought three of these. These are going to last me probably all year. That's just an incredible saving there. I also got um, stalk margarine. Now, normally I would buy saver margarine for baking and what have you. And um, I would never buy this because it's just so expensive. £2.29 for that tiny little 500 gram tub. Down to 69p, which is cheaper than the saver version that I've been buying. And what I, so I bought three of them. What I didn't realize is that one of them had the wrong sticker on it. It was actually 24p, so I made an extra saving there. I also got one pack of crumpets. They were 45p, now 27p. I got some onions, they happen to be organic. Uh, were 99p down to 50p uh, what else did we get carrots were 50p now 37p I got two of those parsnips were 55p down to 22p and I got two of those and tomatoes were 95p down to 56p and I bought two of those those are like the regular salad tomatoes um, quite a lot on the meat front which surprised me Maybe because it's the beginning of the month, I'm not sure. So, breaded ham, this is not the saver version, was £1.93, now 77p. There's loads in there, 16 slices. That's quite a weighty packet. That's brilliant. Also, you know how much I like my fish. Kipper fillets, ready to cook. Two in a pack. They were £1.35, now 81p. I bought two. I have no idea if these are freezable, but I just couldn't help. Um, just couldn't help it. Now it says it's got bones in it, which is a bit of a pain, but we'll work around that. The other thing I got, which is something I've never seen before, is beef pepperoni. Now this is a hal halal version but I don't care because it was a pound and it's now 24p so I bought five of them and I'm going to work those into recipes and um, we are going to do uh, I don't know that I can freeze that I'm pretty tempted to be honest with you because I mean it's me isn't it you can, you can freeze a pepperoni pizza, so I'm very tempted to just shove these in the freezer and see what happens. So that is my shop for Sunday morning. Now, all of that cost me £10.38, which is a lot. But if I bought it all at shelf price, that would have cost me £30.31, meaning that I've got a saving of £19.93 on that, which is like two-thirds of the shelf price it's crazy there's a lot here this is going to last me ages some of this stuff will last me all year like the mince meat i'm going to put those in the cupboards i still have a jar of mince meat from last christmas which i haven't opened yet so you know it 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 lasts for ages the margarine will last for ages i sometimes keep these tubs for months in my fridge no problem there and um yeah i think um i think we've done pretty well there so i'm gonna end this here seems like a nice way to end things um that short recipe that i put on last time the uh the crumpet one which comes before this um really nice really enjoyed that that's a really quick easy way to to make a dinner and as i said you could um swap out the crumpets for i would swap it out for diced potato 
because that would be really really tasty and you could have that as a side and then add a bit more in I think that I might if the next time I do it I would add in um, some bacon or something like that and turn that into a really tasty it's almost like an all-day breakfast it was so good anyway so I'm going to end that here and I um, hope you have a good rest of your weekend or whenever you're watching this during the week during the weekend it'll be here forever so whenever you happen to get around to it hope you're having a good time see you later bye